Today is Thursday, the 9th of May, 2019, and it is likely that this will be up on the channel uh, on Saturday the 11th, or something like that. Anyway, welcome back to another Snack and a Story with me, yours truly, and uh, today, as you can see, I'm uh, having breakfast, which is... Uh, it's hard to see, but it's uh, poached eggs on toast, rye toast, with uh, with sausage. So, uh, I thought that today I, I may as well uh, tell you another really personal story. A lot of very personal stuff that I've been confiding t to you uh, over the course of however long lately. But I thought I may as well tell you this one, and uh, going hand in hand with uh, my pocket watch collection video, which most likely will go up before this, um, I suppose I, it seems only fitting, so I'll go ahead and get right down to the point. So, back about, I don't know, maybe three years ago or so, I was really into uh, collecting pocket watches. Mainly because uh, I had seen them around when I was a child and had wanted one of my own for the longest time. And it finally did buy one uh, uh, in year 11 for when I was going to get ready for the school year. So I bought one then and uh, the collection and my interest had expanded ever since. And it got to a point where uh, I had had so many watches by this point, uh, about, I don't know, late to mid-2018, that uh, I decided that I was perhaps going to pursue the repair of watches as a career. This is a yeah, cult. Yeah. And uh, it turned out that um, there was a technical a tech school up in Seattle, Washington that offered a course in watch repair. And I was... Uh, going to uh, enroll in that um, for the next two years and then, you know, get us get a, a degree and perhaps set up shop in England or other somebody, someplace else Commonwealth. And uh, so I thought this was all very well and fine, you know. No problem, I could do this. The thing is, though, in order for you to get in, you have to pass a very rigorous examination, which took about eight hours and involved a whole bunch of mental and technical uh, aspects of the watchmaker's uh, uh, practice.
And before this examination, they had said, the uh, heads of the school had said that uh, you know, come in knowing absolutely nothing of the, uh, of the, of the art. And, uh, I myself have seen a few, you know, videos of people assembling and disassembling watch movements and, you know, know pretty much, I guess, the basics of how they run. So I thought that, you know, what little experience I did have would benefit me in the long run, so... Uh, pardon me. I went up to uh, Seattle. Oh God, I suppose maybe a week or two after uh, I graduated high school. So, so I spent about four days there. The three of which were used just to, you know, I guess, see the sights and such, which, if you've never been to Seattle, it's a beautiful place. There are trees there where you wouldn't expect there to be trees, and uh, it's very lush and green and uh, not at all like uh, like California. It's a lot like England and, and anything, you know, the old world, I might say. Uh, and I don't know if you know, but I just like greenery in general. So, yeah. But uh, on the third day, I was set to take this exam, which was, you know, eight hours, as I said, up at the college. And it involved um, a written portion, which is like an essay of what you, why you're taking this course and what you want to get out of it. And, uh, also there was, uh, uh, mathematics, which, uh, I, for which I had studied, um, a few weeks ahead of time. I had a tutor who taught me everything that was likely going to be on that exam, as he had started up a watch company of his own. So, um... I did those, I guess fairly well, and, um, I mean, that didn't really seem all that hard, the uh, written aspect of it. It was the physical aspect, however, the hands-on aspect of the thing that sort of really kind of set me off a little. In that, um, what we did there was In watchmaking uh, and repair in general, you find yourself having to, uh, if you can't necessarily find a part that uh, would, you know, go to a certain type of watch, you would, in a sense, have to make it yourself, which involved cutting metal and such. And we worked with thin sheets of brass, or I did, I was the only one taking the exam, but I worked with thin sheets of brass and used a little saw to cut uh, the brass. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I cannot make straight cuts to save my life. So, uh, that was pretty much uh, useless, and I ended up actually splitting my thumb open, this thumb right here, which I don't know if you can see, I'm, I'm sure it's healed, I mean, this was over a year ago, but I split that thumb open, while
whilst handling the metal. And, uh, you know, didn't make any straight cuts whatsoever. And also, one of the other things was uh, you had to manipulate with tweezers a hairspring. Now, if you don't know what a hairspring is, that is the little coil uh, inside of a watch that uh, that causes it to move. It's, I believe, just above the balance cock. And, uh, you know, it's about like... Like that big in diameter. So... Very small thing to work with here. And basically we had to manipulate, or I had to manipulate them. Into numbers, like, you know, two, five, six, and eight. I believe those were the numbers I had to uh, make out of them. With tweezers. And let me tell you. Uh, it was very difficult because they were very stubborn. They kept springing back in the position. And, uh, you know, they showed me how to do it, too. They showed me how to do this stuff. But I just couldn't really... I don't know, really, why I couldn't figure it out. It just... Uh, it didn't want to work with me. But, um, and they were all like, you know, it is what it is, all this type of stuff, you know, like, you know, it's the first time and such, not, never, not everybody's perfect. So I sort of felt a little confident in that respect. But, um, the final part of the examination was you had to disassemble and reassemble a uh, watch movement. Now, if you've ever handled or uh, taken apart a watch movement, you know it's a very uh, difficult piece of machinery. Uh, and... Uh, you know, I had an hour and a half to do this. And, uh, you know, I got it fairly well put together, I think. But the thing is, the screws would not uh, be, would not be allow me to put the bridge over the rest of the movement. So uh, I pretty much ended up uh, not finishing it by the time I was done. But I was not crestfallen, and, uh, you know, I thought that maybe, you know, I would, uh, you know, hopefully be in the class that coming autumn. And I myself, during this whole thing, thought, what was I getting myself into? Which, uh, was kind of ironic, because, uh, it took them about a month to reply uh, back with my results and whether I was accepted or not. And uh, they had said that I was not because I could not perform the the physical aspects, or technical aspects as well, as most people, and not with that much celerity either. In fact, the only portion that I got a full 100% on was the writing. <laughs> Which, you know, kind of
you know, makes sense because, you know, I want to be a writer first and foremost. And, you know, I was thinking of this as maybe like a two-year thing I would do until I do publish something. But, um, they told me to come in with no experience whatsoever. But the stuff we did, or I did, really required some, uh, some prior knowledge to, uh, in order to accomplish. But I, I myself really, when I first heard the news, of course I was a bit, sa I was a bit saddened by this. But about a week after, I kind of did sort of, uh, uh, accept that, you know, this, I was way, uh, in over my head when I was trying to uh, pursue this, so uh, it was probably best that I didn't cut in anyway. But that's uh, my experience of trying to get into uh, watch repair school. And, uh, yeah, I probably will not uh, pursue it again. I'll probably just stick to writing and, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and, uh, this is a bit of a longer one. I, this this may or may not have an intro. It depends. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, you have a good night. <laughs>